Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. We'd love it if you'd stick around for a while and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and let me know what you guys wanna see next. So today's video is going to be on the Tory Burch Soft Fleming bag. So here's a little overview of it. They, this bag does come in a few different colors. So we've got the side view, the back, it doesn't have a pocket. Other side's exactly the same. The front, the bottom does not have any feet. And then it is a shoulder strap or it can be a, a crossbody strap. So when you open this bag up, it is a magnetic closer, closure and it is pretty uh, good. I have a few bags where you have to kind of maneuver it and figure out where um, where to line it up. This one pretty much always lines up nicely. Inside, we've got this front panel. It's a nice leather strap. This part is pretty sturdy. And then I have mine stuffed. So I just wanted to leave mine stuffed to show you guys what I or how I take care of my bags when I'm not using them. There's two different sections in here. One right here and then one in the back. So in the front pocket, I've got some stuffing and then also in the back pocket. And that helps it keep its shape. So inside of here, we've got a nice large pocket. We've got a little flap right here, a zipper pocket, and then another section back here. And in the very back section, there's also a zipper back here, right here. So that one's got a nice smooth zip on here. And then, let me switch sides. And then this, this one, when it's full, the middle pocket, it does zip nicely, but when it's um, when it's closed, it's hard to get it the zip to open and close. I don't usually use the middle pocket for much, so that's not a big deal for me. Okay, so let's talk about on this ranges. So they have ones that are um, different materials, and then like tweed, and then um, what's the word I'm looking for? Where it's like the stitching is different, and those ones are up in the seven hundred dollar range. This one is right around 600. I believe it is a uh, $578. So let me tell you a little backstory about this bag. This is my first bag that I ever bought that I spent good money on. So I've all my bags previously, I think were about $100, maybe $200. I always bought the Michael Kors bags, coaches coach bags, but I bought them when they were on sale. This bag I had in my cart for a long time, I showed all my daughters and asked them, should I buy it, should I buy it, it's $600, oh my gosh, should I spend the money? And they were like, mom, just buy the bag. So eventually I bought the bag and this bag started it all for me. So let's give you guys a little overview about what fits inside the bag. So if I open the bag up, I'm going to show you, I'm gonna show you my essentials first and then what uh, some of the things that I've seen other people people carry with them. I'll show you how that fits in there. So I've got my sunglasses. I do live in Arizona, so sunglasses are super important for me, especially when you have light colored eyes. Um, the sun really affects your eyes. So if my sunglasses won't fit in a purse, I usually won't buy the purse. So that fits right in there. Um, I've got a small wallet or a large card case. This has a zipper pocket for cash and then it's got my cards in there and then my keys I just attach right to it. So I put that in the front pocket. I usually have a couple lipsticks in my bag. Um, this is my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk that I carry everywhere with me. And then this one is a Jaclyn Hill Sophia. It's in the color Sophia lipstick. This is her discontinued collection that all the hype was about. And then chapstick I usually carry in my bag and then my phone so this is my daughter's phone she's sitting right next to me so I'm borrowing her phone just so you guys can see and I usually slide that right in the back pocket so that's what it looks like with what I fill in the bag and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with a few more items in there so if I were to take my small wallet out and then add a full-size wallet in there it fits just fine move the lipsticks out of the way and then a perfume sometimes I carry a perfume with me 
Um, sometimes I don't, it just depends. But usually I'll, if I do carry one, I'll carry a travel size. This one is a small, I think 1.7 ounce perfume bottle. Uh, let's do a snack, so peanuts. If I do carry snack with me, which sometimes I do, it just depends. If, if, I, if I didn't eat any breakfast and I'm going to church, I'll usually carry a snack with me because we go to church at 1130. So I'll put that in there and then a water bottle. I know a lot of people carry a water bottle with them, so that does fit in here as well. Let's maneuver, let's maneuver a few things around. So we'll put this down in the bottom to make more room. Sunglasses, wallet, snack we're gonna put in the back. All right, so that is packed full. That's about as full as it will get. Let's see if it'll close. Okay, it closed perfectly. You can see it's not bulging. This does have a round shape to it naturally, so it doesn't ever really look like it's bulging, even if it is. But this one's not, it's still got some room in there for a few things if you wanted to shove a few things in there. Let's talk about pros of this bag. A pro for me is the leather and the quality is nice and soft and buttery. The bag itself is very lightweight. The closure on here is a pro for me, how well it closes on its own. You don't have to kind of maneuver it to find its place. The size of the bag and how much it carries is a pro for me. Um, this back pocket, usually in smaller bags, I don't like a back pocket like that because it makes it so that there's less room. But with this one, I like the back pocket so I can slip my phone back there. The style of the bag is beautiful. I love the gold, the gold with the cream color. This is a bag that I usually wear with my summer dresses. Um, as far as cons go, I really only have two. One con is that the chain is, um, it's a very lightweight chain. You can't even hear it when I, let's see. So it doesn't make any noise. It's very hollow material. I'm not sure what this is, maybe a nickel or, or an aluminum. It's very, very light, which I, some people might think is a, is a pro because it makes the bag light, but for me, it's a con. I, the um, finishing on the chain does rub off after a while, but I haven't had too much of that happen, very little of that happen. And then another con for me is the fact that there's no back pocket. I really love a back pocket for the things that I need right away. So like if I need my phone to grab it out, I love it in a back pocket or if I'm at I don't know, the movies or something, and I have my tickets back there, I love a back pocket for that as well. <coughs> so, so is this bag worth it? For me, 100%, yes, it is worth it. I'm actually considering getting another one. They have a beautiful tweed and burgundy one. It has a burgundy lining all the way around, and then the rest of it is tweed, and it's on clearance or on sale right now for $378, so I'm really considering getting that one. I think it would be beautiful with a winter coat. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about on this bag is wear and tear. I know I touched on it a little bit with the chain. Um, that is the only place I've had any wear and tear. I have seen on other people's bags where they smoosh down really skinny. Let me take out these items real quick and show you guys. Okay, so I've taken out all the items and you can see that this bag does smoosh really skinny. So, and from the front, I've seen on some people's bags where when they're wearing it even, their bag is completely smooshed. So that is a concern for me. That is why it's so important to keep your bag stuffed when you're not using it. Don't set things on top of it. Keep it stuffed and that way it'll keep its shape. Another thing that I've seen is people's bags smooshing down this way. But I don't think that will be an issue either if you keep your bag stuffed. So it really depends on how well you take care of your bag. I've had this bag for about a year now and it doesn't have any wear and tear on it. The bottom, you can see, there's no wear and tear. The corners look great. The front looks great. The clasp looks great. There's, 
there isn't even any scratching on this metal. I know if you guys watched my Louis Vuitton um, video, I told you about the scratching on the hardware. There isn't any scratches on this hardware. I don't know if you guys can see that. So as far as wear and tear, this bag has been great for me. I don't keep anything in my bag, like pens or anything. So there isn't any, I don't have any stains on the inside, but the material feels like if something were to get on here makeup wise, um, it would just wipe right out. Okay, so do I recommend this bag? Yes, 100%, I recommend this bag. If you are going to get your first luxury purchase, I would get this bag. I know a lot of people don't consider this to be a luxury bag, but the Tory Burch prices are getting way up there. They have um, purses that cost over a grand. So for me, that is a luxury price. That is a luxury bag. Also, the quality of this is definitely a luxury bag. So if you guys are considering your first luxury bag, but don't want to spend three or $4,000, definitely consider getting this one. It is the perfect size and it has been really a great bag for me. Okay, so this is what the bag looks like crossbody. It is very comfortable. It sits at a good height for me. My hip is right here, so it sits right on my hip. It's not too low, not too high. I am five foot six for reference or dresses. If I'm wearing a, a slimmer dress, it's a little bit big. Speaking of which, what do you guys think about this dress? I'm a little torn on it. I bought it a little while back. It has pockets. I love the color. It's from Target. So it was inexpensive. I think it was like $29. But this poofiness, I don't know. Can I pull it off? What do you guys think? Is this too much? Anyway, back to the bag. So it is very comfortable. It's got the leather strap at the top, as you can see here, and it fits nicely. All right, guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me and watching my review on my Tory Burch Soft Fleming bag. If you guys own this bag, let me know down in the comments if you have any pros or cons. Do you recommend this bag? Is it your favorite? Is it your least favorite? Do you use it a lot? Let us all know for those who are uh, interested in purchasing this bag. So as I let you guys know in the very beginning of this video, once I get to 200 sub subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. You need to be following me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Dawn, D-A-W-N-M-A 77. So follow me on there, I'll link it down below. And also you need to be a subscriber. All right guys, one more overview. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.